Carousels have been all the rage lately, enabling people to grow hundreds of thousands of followers quickly. But at the same time, carousels can be extremely difficult and time consuming to create. So what are the tools and processes to create carousels effectively? This is the question I will be answering in this video, so sit back, relax, smash that like button and let's get started. First, let us begin with the tools that you need in order to create a carousel effectively. I will let you know the tools I use in my journey as well as a few alternatives so you can make the best choice for yourself. Starting with design software, there are a few alternatives that you can use both free as well as paid based on your design skills. If you, for example, prefer a simple interface with a lot of templates, Canva is the best place for you. Having said that, if you want more features in your design software and you might have some experience designing previously, then Photoshop is a must. And if Photoshop is too pricey for you, there is a browser too, which is just like Photoshop, which is called Photopay. Honestly, I don't know how it's even legal, but it's amazing. And in the cases that you want to design carousels on the go, or you simply do not have the means in order to design on a laptop or PC, you can also utilize PixelWap. It is a free application which enables you to create carousels. Of course, you can also design carousels on Illustrator, Figma, Adobe XD, and many other design softwares such as Inkscape, but these are the ones which I personally recommend. Moving forwards to the visual elements. Instagram is a visual platform, so you have to make sure your images look crisp. And for that, I utilize FreePic, Adobe Stock, as well as Envato elements. There are also some free alternatives such as Unsplash, Pixabay, etc. But I definitely recommend you investing in a great visual library because that can set your carousels apart. On the topic of visual elements, where do you get your fonts, textures, as well as 3D elements? Well, for fonts and textures, you can utilize Creative Market. It is a phenomenal marketplace which has tools and resources from other creators just like yourself. And then in terms of getting 3D elements, my favorite library is definitely in Battle Elements once again. And to round off the visual element of a carousel, you also want to make sure you're picking the right colors and these colors match between themselves. For that, I utilize the website called covers.co. It is phenomenal as it offers not only done for you palettes, but also numerous tools that will enable you to pick the right colors for your carousel. Now that we have gotten the visual side of the carousel out of the way, we also need to plan, research and schedule our carousels. For the planning aspect, I utilize Notion. It is relatively hard to get into Notion, but if you utilize templates, which there are a ton of out there, you can create a Notion board in the matter of minutes and your productivity, well, it will absolutely skyrocket. So Notion is a must for planning when it comes down to not only Instagram, social media, but life in general. Now that we have planned our carousel strategy, we also need to research each individual carousel. And for that, the best idea research tool I have found up to date is Answer Socrates. It is pretty much like Answer the Public, but a way better in terms of visualizing the data as well as the accuracy of the information provided. So answer Socrates, input your keyword and you will see a ton of questions for your specific topic, enabling you to create carousels for the questions your audience is likely to ask. And finally, we have the visual side as well as the research side out of the way. So now how do we actually schedule or post our carousel on Instagram? For that, I utilize Creator Studio. Why? Because it is created by Facebook, which owns Instagram, and thus the integration is a lot smoother than any of the other tools out there. Of course, if you have presence on a lot of platforms and you're already utilizing a scheduling tool such as Hootsuite, Buffer, etc., feel free to utilize those. But for Facebook and Instagram, I personally prefer Creator Studio. Now that we know what are the tools that we need in order to create a carousel, how do we actually put them into practice? Well, for that, let me jump on my computer and show you my carousel creation process step by step. 
Okay, so now that we are here, we can get started with creating our carousel. First, the researching part. We start off by searching for a topic, a pretty general one, such as, let's say, Instagram growth. Now that we have done that, we can see what are the top questions that people have been asking about this specific topic. We can take a look at them and we can start creating content based on the questions that people are asking. That way we make sure that the content we are creating is solving an actual problem that people have. So for example, how can I get 1000 followers on Instagram? This is one of the most asked questions which you can answer in the form of a video, carousel, etc. Is Instagram still growing? Making a post, comparing the different social media platforms and showcasing if they're still gaining users, what's the future, what are the social media trends, can also be a phenomenal post idea for you. To top it all off, there are hundreds of other questions you can find on this website, which you can turn into potential content ideas for yourself. Now that we have gotten content research out of the way, let's jump straight into the content writing. So for carousels, I recommend you having a table which looks like this one, breaking down each of the individual slides that you're going to be showcasing in your carousel, and then giving a quick prompt on what you need to include in each slide. This can help you out tremendously when starting out until you just simply don't know from experience what to include where. This specific template which I'm utilizing is following the ADA model. If you aren't familiar with it, I will link a video of Chris Doe in the description. He does a phenomenal job explaining it. But in a nutshell, we start off with hooking people in, in the first two slides, then building upon the problem in slides three to seven, and then closing out with an action in slide 10. Now that we have gotten this out of the way, I simply input my text into each column. I also try to plan out what visuals I'm going to be including directly when I'm writing my copy. And then from that point onwards, when I'm later searching for visuals or when I'm designing it, everything has already been done for me. Which brings us to the next point. How do I actually find my images? Well, I mainly utilize Freepik here. And then there are nine accounts that I follow and utilize regularly in my content. I try to look through these accounts every now and again, looking through what are some of the recent uploads and finding images I can utilize and put into my collections, which are basically collections of images I can utilize if I don't find anything appropriate. After we have researched our content, written our scripts, found our visuals, it's time to get designing. Unfortunately, creating a design isn't an easy job and it takes a lot of time. That's why I have created a whole video on the topic, which you can check right here. After we have designed our content, scheduling it through Creator Studio is super easy. We click the Create Post button, we choose Instagram Feeds. After we arrive to the Post to Instagram button, we click Add Content, we choose where to upload it from. After our content is uploaded, we need to type our caption in. And then once that is done, we can choose a specific date in which we would love our content to be published. And that's how you create a banger carousel. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing as I post videos like this one every single week. And remember to stay brave.